think you should be brand new Clash Royale video. My name is Micah aka Ducky and today we're going to be taking a look at this amazing three musketeer cannon cart deck. I know a lot of people have been disappointed how bad cannon cart was and all the hype for it went away because they realized it wasn't that great of a card but this is actually working really well in this deck that I just created. I've tested it out, gotten multiple wins with it and yeah I'm just going to show it to you. I will do one replay, kind of walk through it and then I will jump into a live battle and hopefully if we can get a three crown maybe we'll do another battle then I can open up the crown chest but anyways let's just head into this first replay okay in this battle we are against Titan and he has a bowler giant deck I believe and I have of course this new deck that I just created so fairly normal start I had the pump in hand so I went ahead and played that right at the beginning and then I think he went knight in the back. Or might have been bowler. Yeah, there we go. He went bowler next to his tower. And so I decided to test out the cannon cart. Like, to see how good it is. Once I saw those bats, I knew I was going to zap them along with the bowler. So I made sure to get my zap ready. He did, unfortunately, lightning my pump. But watch this cannon cart. Gets pushed back a little bit. So now my tower is within range. It takes three shots for the bowler to kill it. And then it finally died. And I think I took a bit of damage on my tower. Maybe one bowler hit, and then the rest of it was not lightning. But overall, that is a 5-5 five five trait. It was not too bad. If the tower was shooting it the whole time, it would have survived and gone on the counter push. But unfortunately, it did stay out of range for that first part, so it couldn't. And then I just went ahead, Ice Spirits to cycle, and then Ice Wizard in the back, so I could get another pump down. I did make sure to play it on the left side, so he couldn't keep lightning in that tower and let the damage build up. And then... So, I do have my cannon card again. I know it will be able to outrange the knight, of course. And because I had my zap, I did, I think, zap those bats. Yep. And then I went ahead did bats on the bowler so I could take it out a little quicker. He did arrow them, but that was a negative trade for him, so I was completely fine with that. I did Ice Spear to support this little push here. And then he did Electro Wizard it. And the cannon card got a couple shots off, but it isn't the fastest shooter. So the Electro Wizard was able to take it out pretty easily. And I didn't really want to play another pump like I wanted to, but I knew he had the lightning, so I ended up just placing it there. I didn't want to give him insane value, but I didn't want him to just not allow me to pump or anything. So I just decided to go three musketeers since he uses lightning there. <laughs> I believe he went bowler on right side, and I went cannon car on the left side. There you go to support that. And then I also did a Miner and an Ice Spirit. The cannon actually almost took out my Musketeer because the Ice Spirit couldn't get past. But it was barely able to come in and save the day. It did eventually die. But look at that cannon cart still surviving and dealing massive damage to the tower. It is down to 742. I decided to do Musketeers. They did stay within range of each other for too long. So they did get thrown down. I did a cannon cart to minimize the damage. And then went Miner in front of it. And then Ice Spirit to try and defend, but it did get taken down by the bowler. So we're just slowly chipping away at his tower with that miner, getting a couple swings in and taking out his Electro Wizard. And, and now I did go Ice Wizard next to my tower, just to cycle. And I believe I did go three Musketeers in the back. Yeah, there they go. And he lightning the ones on the right, which I was completely fine with, because I just wanted the one on the left anyways, so... That was fine with me. Oh no, he did leave them alone. He lightened the one on the left, which was what he was supposed to do. He tried to negate the damage from that miner, but it was able to stay on the tower. Down to 240 health. And he's just wasting elixir on that right side. And so I knew this was my chance to just go all in. Cycled back to my miner zap. And he did get that electro wizard to defend it. And keep his tower at 127 and I, basically, I'm just cycling, cycling Ice Wizard, Bats, and then going with my Miner, Ice Spear, so I can get back to my Zap. And that was game. Tower down to 63, and I could Zap it from there. So that was a well-played game. The Bowler, I thought, would be able to hard counter us. But because the Cannon Cart destroyed it, like every time it came up against us, we were able to pull off that victory. And so now I will be jumping into some live battles. So we'll be right back with that. Okay, so we are here against Ronald D. Grote. 
interesting name, sir. And of course, it's another level 11. And I'll have to do Bat's Ice Spear to take this out. Shouldn't be too bad. I will get an Ice Wizard just so those bats don't start ripping apart our tower. Oh, but they are level 10, so I'll have to zap them too. That's a bit unfortunate. I'm just going to let that die off. That Ice Wizard can just go by itself. I need to get another pump down. Unless he does that. Oh my goodness. Leap Barbarians. And we lost the tower already. Hopefully the tower only takes out two bats. Oh good, only one. Even better. There we go. Cannon cart locked onto the tower. Don't really know what that battle round was for. Because it's just going to go right back into that. So... There we go, decent value zap there. Again, Ice Wizard, I'll let the Bandit charge onto the tower, because my Crown Tower, I can afford to take a little bit of damage. There we go, not too bad. We have the tower decently low. We took a couple hundred damage, but that's completely fine. And now I'll just get an Elixir Collector down here. And I'll have to get ready for Elite Barbs. Oh my goodness, he also has three Musketeers. And in this deck, I don't have a Fireball or a Rocket or anything, otherwise that would be really, really awesome. I guess I'll just have to go three musketeers. The wow. Okay, so he's probably gonna do a ton of damage. Actually, no, that wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and get a miner in front of that baby. He's gonna log it back. I'm fine with that. And musketeers gonna go for the tower instead of the bats. That's cool. That's cool. And uh, I can't really get another one down because. I won't have enough time to get all of it back. Hurry, Three Musketeers. Ice Spirit, take down... Or don't. Okay. There we go. Let's get a Miter in front of that. Don't keep any of them alive. Zap those bats, and that tower is going to go down. So now I'll be able to get another Three Musketeers down. We're making... Decent trades with his elite barbarians because we can just go three musketeers. Hopefully we don't lose any of them. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. We go cannon cart, miner, and then get our thing ready. Okay, wow. Oh, wow, we actually did a really good amount of damage. Oh my goodness, he took the tower. Nice. Oh. So there you go, you can see how that worked. That was amazing. Cannon cart tanked, and we took down the tower. So you can see how well this deck works. So that proves that the cannon cart is actually a good cart. It just has to be used in the right decks, which aren't very many to be honest. But that's fun. I will be keeping this video a bit shorter, so I'm gonna cut it off right here. There you saw two amazing battles that I had. Make sure to go and copy this deck. If you don't have the miner, I guess you could go with a knight or mega minion. Goblin Gate would work too. And instead of the ice wizard, if you don't have that, you could probably go with the night witch. Maybe minions or musketeer. But just some kind of ranged unit would be preferable. Prefer a better option for this deck. But anyways, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.